let's do something interesting today. Today, we're going to talk about shipping container farms. Now, there's a few companies out there that are building these that you can buy to set up your own growing business. This sounds great. And what they do is they grow using LED lighting systems. So they don't use natural sunlight, or the majority of them don't use match natural sunlight. And they use hydroponics to feed and water the plants. Now, this type of system works. And the companies we're going to look at that are doing this are called Freight Farms, Grocer. Um, the big one, of course, is Elon Musk's brother, Kimball Musk, has a company called Square Roots. And we're going to go over that as well. I'm a huge fan of Elon Musk. I mean, I use Starlink myself for internet. I plan to very soon get a Tesla vehicle. What he's done for the marketplace has been amazing. Um, as well as I'm going to look at my favorite company, Alibaba, and to see what they offer that's comparable. Uh, I think in some cases, maybe they're making them for these guys and you can might be able to get a better deal. That being said, um, as good as these farms are, and they tout to be able to grow the same amount of produce as two acres in a 320 square foot shipping container. I mean, the shipping containers are 40 feet by eight feet wide. And imagine being able to grow two acres worth of food in something that small. This is revolutionary. They, they can work year round and just keep cranking out the greens. But there's a problem. And we're going to get into that. Simple Tech, that's the name of this channel. And we have all kinds of videos in our archives about how to grow and build greenhouses affordably and easy by yourself so that you can have a year round structure that can grow you food that you can use, eat, and sell. That's in our focus. That's the main thing that we produce videos on. And this video works in conjunction with everything we've done so far. So if you want to do something incredibly cheap with lots of research, with lots of examples, you got to look at our archives. And to do that, hit subscribe. If you like what we're doing, hit like. The idea for this video came from another YouTuber that put out a video about a year ago named Belinda Carr. She does construction videos and she put out a video about shipping container homes. And there's a big trend for people wanting to buy shipping containers and turn them into houses. But what she exposed in her video was that there's a lot more to it and that these shipping container houses are nowhere near as affordable as people think they are. If you're going to get them to building codes and livable in climates where you need air conditioning or you need heating and you need size. I mean, people need a certain amount of space to live, which brought me to the idea for this video. Um, she did a follow up video and she actually did touch upon shipping container farms and went on about how great they are and talked about Elon Musk's brother, Kimball and his company called, uh, square roots where they're building shipping container farms and the, the positives of it and how good this is and how well it works but she missed something and she missed something big so that's what we're going to talk about in this video um the elephant in the room what the real problem with the manufacturers of these shipping container farms so i'm going to start with one of the the original and biggest companies called freight farms and they have a beautiful unit. Um, their website is First Notch. They talk about how you can, if you call them up, they'll talk about how you can make your money back within two or three years. I question that. Um, I think that it's a fantastic unit. Uh, it looks beautiful. I mean, you can see from the pictures here, the freight farm units are, it can loop you in on what a great idea it is. The problem with a freight farm unit is it's $139,000 US plus shipping. Now I want you to think about this for a second. $139,000. Wait a minute. It's 320 square feet. Okay. This is a hydroponic farm. Generally three, four levels. 320 square feet. 
if you're going to get a refrigerated shipping container, a reefer shipping container, you're looking at something that five to eight thousand dollars. And a lot of these companies are using used shipping containers because they go on about recycling and this wonderful idea like that. So, I mean, let's let's even say it's nine thousand dollars for the shipping container. What else is there? I mean, you're looking at a hydroponic system, and we can explore that later. This isn't that super expensive. And you're looking at an air heat pump. Other than that, you just got to connect the pieces and let it go. What's going on here? I mean, $139,000 for 320 square feet. Okay, now they're going to do multi-level. Let's say they do four levels. That's 1,200 square feet for $139,000 U.S.? I mean, this is over $180,000 Canadian. I didn't pay that much for my house. How do you pay that off? I mean, ROI is the return on investment. ROI is the number one thing you got to look at when you do a business. And that's why these aren't taking off. There's actually a company called Grocer, or Grower. Grocer? Grocer? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. In Manitoba, here, Canada, where I live, that is making shipping container farms. They're coming in at $185,000, I mean, as well. And they're selling them. So where are they selling these things? They're selling them to a lot of reserves and native communities that are isolated, that need to grow their own vegetables to be healthier, to have a better economy for themselves. But I think they're ripping them off. This is a scam. I mean, these things are so expensive that you're just putting money in the pocket of the manufacturer on this for years and years. That's completely unnecessary. So why? Now, the one that really strikes me as something else is Elon Musk's brother, Kimball Musk. I mean, Elon Musk, the guy from Starlink, the guy from Tesla, you know, he's also the boring company. He's done some amazing, amazing things that are phenomenal that I completely am behind and his life goal is to get humanity on Mars to make us a multi-planetary species so his brother has tapped into the idea of shipping container farms and he's got a relatively simple shipping container farm that uses a, uh, a growing device that we can get quite cheap on Amazon I mean I know some of the guys that are building these and I'll get into that uh, later that you can buy them from as well but the problem is he wants $80,000. Now, this is a lot better than $139,000. But $80,000 US for a shipping container farm is still nuts. I mean, Kimball, wake up. Your brother markets things that people can buy, that people can use and make money off of and go forward. Starlink is not cheap, but relatively affordable. Tesla cars. I mean, with the exception of the Roadster, are on par with market value for other cars of similar size and similar use. I mean, it's a good deal. The problem is you're marketing this shipping container farm for a ridiculous amount of money that people are going to be indebted to you for years before they make anything back. And your solution to that is to charge more for the vegetables? <laughs> if you want to sell an enormous amount of these vegetables, they need to come out at a competitive price to your competition in the market. And your competition is growing in northern climates where I'm at. If they're growing it local, a lot of them are doing it hydroponic as well. So what's so special about cranking it out from a shipping container versus a greenhouse or a heated greenhouse? Nothing. My solution is... If you can make these things twenty to thirty thousand dollars US, you got something, and you can. I'm going to go over these things, and I'm going to show that this is well within a huge profit margin for you to crank these things out for twenty to thirty thousand dollars. Why aren't you doing it? You could change the world, but you want more money, but you're not going to make it. I mean, you actually have to sell more to make more. You can't just sell a couple of them to a few suckers. So if we look at Alibaba. They've got these things cheap, and they're probably making them for a lot of these manufacturers. That's the bottom line of it. This stuff's coming out of China. And some of them are like twenty, thirty thousand dollars 30000 So why can't we do that here? When, when we look at these, and 
take a look at the pictures, you can see that they're coming in at the right prices. And when they come in at the right prices, people can buy them. The problem is they're in China and everybody gets afraid of shipping them here. So this is a business opportunity if someone's watching this and realizes that you can get them cheap and bring them here and you're going to sell a lot of them because people like the idea of just plugging in an electricity, plugging in a hose and having a greenhouse that doesn't need the sun. It works off of LED lighting. It works hydroponically. And you just harvest, you just plant and harvest, plant and harvest, and you go and sell it to your local places. The amount of people in the twenty to $40,000 price range that will buy this is phenomenal. But when you crank it up to 80, nobody wants it. When you crank it to 139, people look at you like, are you on crack? What's going on here? So let's look at building one of these shipping container farms. First, you need the shipping container. Um, you can insulate it yourself or you can buy a reefer shipping container. What that is, is it's an insulated shipping container. They do it for you. Woohoo, done. Let's see what they cost. I'll have it on the side here. Then you need some sort of heating and cooling system. One of the easiest ways to do that is a heat pump, an air heat pump. And they're a good ones for a 320 square foot building. It's going to run you. Let's, let's give you $3,000. It's going to be less than that, but I'm going to give lots of leeway on this. Then you need some... Electrical, um, you're going to have to have an electrician hook that up. You're going to need a panel. Uh, it would be nice. You should be able to run it off of 50 amps. Um, LED lights don't suck a lot of power anymore. And the pumps and the fans don't use much. As well, you're going to need a garden hose to hook it up. If you're running four season, you need that garden hose with a heat tape in it so the water doesn't freeze. That's about it. I mean, you need the hydroponic systems, but we can buy those on Alibaba or we can build them. But without even building them, looking at Alibaba and buying them, well, when we start adding this up, there's not a lot there. And we can build these cheap. Now, imagine if you could actually start cranking these out in the twenty dollars to $30,000 range, how many people would buy them. They could sit them, stick them in their backyard, they can plug them into their house, and they can make money growing fantastic vegetables for their local market and have a job or feed their family with high-end food constantly. Tell me, is this a good idea? Tell me in the comments. But the scam is nobody should be paying $139,000 for a shipping container farm or $80,000 for a shipping container farm. It's just too much.